Hey guys, Kev here, and I just want to do a quick disclaimer. So, I did the disassembly slash first impressions of the Orion Knives <clears throat> Solaris, and I filmed it last night, and I'm getting ready to post it right now, or uh, edit it right now, and I decided I wanted to put a little disclaimer video at the beginning, um, to be fair, right? So, when I took this knife apart, you guys already know, if it's a 50 plus minute video that uh, I struggled a little, right? And um, I had a really tough time getting these two screws out because they have a spinning pivot system, right? I'm saying the wrong word when I say pivot, but the barrels in there or whatever they are, are in a spinning fashion where this screw and that screw both need to be tightened and loosened at the same time. And they were massively loctited um and it was just literally a rough road guys you'll see um but i want to say that david blade banter the designer of this knife uh the man behind orion knives great dude um he did a video disassembling this knife showing you how to take it apart and i've been i haven't seen it but I was told about it, and I was told that he even mentioned using a soldering iron to take certain things apart. Uh, again, I didn't see it yet, um, but I wanted to add this. Please go watch that video. If you're watching this to learn how to take this knife apart, you're in the wrong place. <laughs> um, if you're watching this to see me take this apart and, and uh, have a laugh, and uh, joke around and get frustrated and, and yell at the knife and cuss everything out and kind of be a jackass because that's what I do, um, then you're in the right place. But don't take this as a tutorial on how to take this knife apart. I just want to put that disclaimer in there. I, I really appreciate David for sending me this knife. I appreciate David for designing this knife. Uh, a knife guy, uh, designing his own knife starting his own knife brand um is very impressive and admirable to me and i i don't i do not want to come off like i had something against him or the knife i just i get frustrated when i take things apart and it doesn't go my way and um you guys know the rest of that story but that's the disclaimer if you're watching this to learn how to take this knife apart go watch blade banter's video on it first i will link it in the description watch that video before you do anything do not base it off of me <laughs> um and then i just want to say wow look at this thing look at that carbon fiber i think they call it raindrop or marble i forget but it it's freaking gorgeous um before you see this video i'm gonna say this scale swap changed this knife for me uh so much for the better i mean it really really changed this knife and and makes me um excited to carry this knife and review it now so i can't wait to do the full review in a week or so um so yeah guys just a quick disclaimer go watch david's video don't watch this for actual like information on taking things apart I'm just a jackass making videos, and uh, you can actually watch the designer take it apart. So, uh, here we go. Strap in, get ready, get a drink, sit down, put your kids to sleep, all right? Uh, get the freaking vape ready, get the dip ready, get your cigarettes ready. It's going to be a long one. Get that popcorn out. <laughs> um, I am a complete jackass. I want to say... I compared myself to Muhammad Ali in this video <laughs> for conquering the knife. Um, it's a shit show, but you know me. I don't edit these kinds of things. I let you see the raw, just stupidity of myself. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. Hit me up in the comments. I love you all. And here we go. Bang. I mean, boom. Fucking knees knives. Just kidding. <laughs> hey guys, Kev here, and I am going to do a disassembly slash scale swap on the Orion Knives Solaris. So, 
This is a knife uh, Blade Banter sent to me to review. I actually bought one on the pre-order in this configuration um, with the blue uh, pivot collars and backspacer, and I ordered these extra. Uh, I then sold it because uh, when I took it out of the box, it had a little bit of like detent play, and I don't know, it just does not scream my style, um, but... I think Blade Banter felt bad about the detent kind of lash thing, and um, he also just wanted me to put one through the review process and get an honest opinion on it, which I really do have to appreciate that, because um, I basically said, this knife is not for me, and um, he still wanted me to put it through my kind of review process and uh, and get that feedback. I, I just think that's interesting. I think that's different. I think that's ballsy, um, that he's not, that he's not worried about, you know, me not liking the knife, if that's what ends up happening, um, and he just wants honest feedback, and, um, that's definitely what you get here, right, uh, so, anyway, I'm working on my, uh, Lancelot leather mat, which I really am loving, guys, uh, I've got my On The Edge mug with some LaCroix, it's Sunday night, we did On The Edge last night for four hours, then Kyle, Jake, and I, you know, stayed on talking for another few hours after, and I'm still recovering, so I'm definitely drinking the water. Um, but this mat is fantastic. I did put some olive oil in it to try to uh, get it oiled up a bit more because it was really drying out. You could see every little nick and gnash from, you know, me beating the shit out of it. Um, and yeah, I put olive oil in, hand rubbed it in with a blow dryer. Obviously, it looks like it could use a couple more coats, so I'll probably be doing that. Um, but it definitely looks uh, much crisper again. So let's do this. My wife is uh, waiting to go to bed when I'm done, so I'm going to try to crank this one out quickly. Yeah, so um, last night was rough. That was a fantastic episode, guys. Um, we love having um, Bearded Gear Jake on. Uh, it's always a blast. Uh, we always have plenty of things to uh, discuss, we'll call it. Um, <laughs> even though half the time it's me calling him out and then him telling me why I'm an idiot. Um, which is fair, right? So let's take this out. Looks like the pivot's just going to come right out. Do I want to do that? No. Maybe I don't want to do that right away. Let's just work our way down here. So this is the um, show side here. Come on, baby. Is this a spinning type situation here? Uh, what do we got? No, that's way too big. I need a T8. T8. I've ordered some extra bits, as usual, just to make sure I have plenty of T8s and T6s, because those are the uh, normal ones to have, right? Can I spin you out instead? I know that other one is the one that wants to come out. Yeah, I feel like I'm stripping it, so I'm trying to be careful here. Let me get that sucker in there. Oh, yeah. So this is the side that just wants to come out, I guess. So that goes over there because it's a different side. Now can you weasel your way out? Looks like we're dealing with a spinning pivot here. So I am going to go ahead and pop this pivot out because then I can just go in from that side if I need to, I guess. We'll see. I love these little pivot collar rings and stuff. It's just interesting. All right, so that side, got it. Okay, trying to be smart. Okay, there's the blade, guys. I have a shell here. Uh, let's see. That guy didn't want to come out. So let's go from this side then if I can. Okay. That is the... Is that the pivot side? God damn it, Kev. No, I can't remember. All right, wait. No. I took... Yeah, I took it out of this side. All right. And I want to go top to bottom, so pivot, middle thing, right? There we go. Okay. And then this way, over here, I'll go down this way or something. I don't know what I'm doing. This should come off now. Okay. Oh, God, guys. This is going to be rough. <clears throat> There's a lot of moving parts 
and you guys know me. So let's just do this. We have this side off, right? So let's take this side, right? And um, yeah, let's do that. Let's move this over here. Take this side, I can just pop this in, right? I don't see why I need to do anything else. I can just put this back together the way it was and go from there. That's my theory on this. Uh, okay, this was the side with all the screws that I took out. Okay, this goes up here into nothing, apparently. Okay. Oh, it goes into that backspacer. Okay, so that's not going to go in yet. This guy. None of these are going to tighten, are they? None of them are going to tighten. Okay, so... Then, what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to put you in there. I'll put you... Wait, that was wrong, right? They're the same length. Okay, no... Yes, same length. Okay, so you go there. Sorry, guys. I knew this one was going to be rough. Uh, I was trying to put aside a good amount of time to do it because I knew I was going to struggle. Um, pivot was in here, I think. There. Okay. So I'm just going to sit that like that, right? Because Sorry, you can see it there up top on the right. I have it ready to go. Then I can work on this side. You do have these multi-row bearings. Um, looks like a quarter inch pivot. I don't have anything to replace these with. Um, I do have some multi-rows, but they're not the right size. And these are perfectly cut for this. I just don't think messing with it is a great idea. And the action was, that was not an issue. So uh, I'm going to get something to dry everything with. And of course, I'll be... Uh, re-oiling everything with kpl for sure um love me some kpl you will see here you have this assembly right here for the button which is interesting um you have 14c 28n great steel um yeah just an interesting, obviously this is uh, made by QSP, designed by uh, David over at Blade Banter. It's weird how that machining, it almost looks like burnt in there. I don't know what that's all about, but. Oh, great. Is that, okay, good. Man, I'm just jacking this mat up. The blade, you know, obviously is sitting face down. I'm going to real quick spray this bitch. Let that sit for a second while you sit upright. Yes, you will. And I'm probably going to cut the shit out of myself. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Uh, EDCI, guys. It's good for rust. I can't ever say it. Inhibition? I don't know. Um, how can I get you out? Uh, okay. So. At least I have that side together so I can put all this other stuff like over here and not worry about what side it's from. Here's your button assembly. So that spring is in there. I like that. I'm going to leave it like, oh, fuck me. Okay. Uh, yeah, there we go. That came out of this right here. It's like a pin inside of the backspacer, which is interesting to say the least. Because there's nothing it goes into. So it must just be for some kind of protection. Now, getting this off is going to be the hard part. Because I need to unscrew. I have to get that screw out. Um, I also need to take the clip off, idiot. Okay, so yeah. This is that spinning shit right here. We're in trouble now. Okay. I have an idea. I'm going to take a screw... Take one of these. I'm going to thread it in. Okay? You'll see. It's a game of cat and mouse, people. Um, you should screw in. I don't, why wouldn't you go in there? I, I'm confused. Okay. You go in the other side. Why wouldn't you? There we go. Okay. So that is pushing that one out, I think. Right? So, okay. 
I have to make it so this one still comes out, but I'm able to get this one out, if that makes sense. I think it's working. <clears throat> A little bit. That's not good. I mean, I have to tighten it down. I don't know. Maybe it's not supposed to thread very far in there. I don't know. This is weird. All right, so the back spacer's off. How do I get you off? It's loose. Okay, I need a wrench. That's what I need. All right, hang on. I'm gonna grab some pliers. How quick can you go grab a set of pliers, huh? Go. I might edit that out, but I also don't give a fuck, so I probably won't. All right, so I'm going to pinch it here to hold it right. And then I'm hoping I'll be able to torque it. I'm going to use the other one here just because it's going to be easier, hopefully. And I got to hope it doesn't spin. Should be fine. Should just... Fuck. I gotta squeeze hard. And I'm really pinching that son of a bitch. Damn it. I used too much fucking Loctite. So I will say right off the bat, guys, I... Unless I'm an idiot and there's some magical, easy way to do this, you shouldn't be sending. You shouldn't be sending extra scales and hardware if it's fucking hard to do. Like it should be easy. Um, that's something I'm definitely not excited about. Let's try down here where it's a little. I can get a better grip down there. You see, it's still turning. So it's not helping me. I'm really biting it. And it... Ugh, come on, you son of a bitch. Like, if it gets to a point where I need to apply heat or something, like, I'm just out. Like, I'm not dealing with that shit. Um, ah, fuck, what can I do? And my other idea should have worked. Like, I should be able to take the scale, you know... Like, you should be able to do this. Like, watch. I probably fucked this one up so much that it's not like going... <laughs> I'll show you what I was going to do originally. So, put this on. You put the scale up to it, right? Put it in place. Like that. Take the screw. Come in from this side. Tighten it down. Why are you just spinning? What the fuck is going on? It's in there, but it's just spinning. What the fuck? I hate free spinning pivots, guys. They're literally the devil. So let's do this. Okay, so now it's tightening, right? So now I need to hold this side and hope that I have enough strength to hold it and screw off this side. Break that seal. Whatever the fuck got it. Okay. Then screw this side out a little. Ah, come on, don't be a bitch. Don't be a bitch. You have to be able to weasel both of them out. That's the fucking hard part. See how this one now is coming out? Let 
Maybe I could do it where I put one scale on. See, like, now this one's stuck, right? But I think if I applied enough pressure, since I broke that seal, I should be able to just do this trick now and get it out. Ha! Son of a bitch, try fucking with me. Try fucking with me, knife. Try that shit, okay? That's what you get. You get your ass kicked. Boom! That knife didn't have a chance, boys. All right. Now we gotta do it again. <laughs> God damn it. Son of a bitch. Ah, the, the struggles, man. The struggle is real up in here. All right, come on. Stop joking around. Stop joking around, Kev. Why don't you just put the knife together? Please, leave me a comment like that. I fucking dare you. Okay. That was a joke. I love you guys. I'm just an asshole, okay? Can't help it. Can't help. I'm just a lowly asshole. All right. Boom. Tight. Now, go to work, baby. All right, gotta hold this one. I gotta crank this bitch. Ugh. Cool. Fuck me. Okay. This is the one I need out, right? See how that just comes right out? That's not what we want. We need that one to stay in place. So I need to be able to break the seal on this side. So I really should be using this one over here. And really getting in there. I don't feel it moving. Is it just Ouija-ing this one out? Yeah, son of a bitch. All right, so I think first I gotta tighten this other one more. All right, now that we got that stupid ass tight, which one do I need to get out? I can't. <laughs> All right, clip side was the one that wouldn't come out, if I can remember correctly. Maybe that was the one that did come out. I don't know. I got it out. No, I think I got the right one. Now we need to go back to this trick and hope it works again. This is brutal, man. Seriously, fucking brutal. I'm gonna strip a screw to it at some point. I mean, for fuck's sake. How could you not strip a screw doing this? Alright. I think I did the wrong one. <clears throat> Fuck. Such a pain in the dick hole. I hate this shit. This knife definitely loses points for me immediately on this. Like, I get it. You want to offer people the chance to customize their knife, but you have to make it something that's reasonably simple to do. Like, this is absolutely, like, brutal, you know? Like, I'm not able to take my knife apart without... I mean, like, I don't want to say the words a normal person... But, like, how many people are going to fucking go through this and actually, like, I don't know. Maybe I just have one that's fucked. I don't know. God damn it, stop loosening this one. I always forget which one was which. The clip side was the one I thought it was. Oh, shit. There's two clip sides, you idiot. That's why I didn't realize. It's 
So I forget again. I think this is the one I need to get out. Yeah, it's just pushing this one out. Just keeps pushing that one out. I know, I need a fucking heat gun or something. People keep telling me, but I'm not dealing with this bullshit. I have another set of pliers on it, sure. No one pissed now. No one pissed now, knife. Fuck with me. This is all my fault. I called this knife my bitch or whatever. And now it's like, you cocksucker. You think you're getting away with that? Huh? Like, when, why do you have to make these perfectly fucking round? Like, make it where it has a little D shape in it so I can actually fucking grip the thing. Like... Mm, so fucking frustrating. Is there a better angle? I mean, I'm going to fucking bend this thing in half before I get it up. Maybe if I use my... This is really fucking annoying. That's all I got to say about this fucking thing. Alright, what can I do? 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 Put this fucker in here like this. Let's try it again. See that thing spinning? Little fuck stick. Like, this should be enough pressure to hold. Having a driver in the other hand should be enough to hold this son, son of a bitch. Just keeps twisting this one out. That's the problem. This is fucking brutal. Like, what else could I do? What, like, what do I have here that I could use? Nothing. Like, there's nothing here that I could use. That comes out. Oh, that's nice. Fucker. I think I've stripped it. May have stripped it by now. Piece of shit. Rubber? I mean, I know you guys say rubber sometimes, but what kind of fucking rubber can I use? I have a leather mat right here. I could try, I guess. Maybe I could use this shit. I don't know. Try anything right now. <laughs> Fucker. Yeah, I think it's stripped. I mean, I'm putting all the might I can put into this. Fucking pliers. And I'm just not getting it. I don't want to use my mat. What the fuck?
I mean, that fucker is just spinning in there like a little bitch. And it's not going anywhere. Uh, fuck. I mean, I literally don't have... A heat gun. I have a blow dryer, but that's not going to get hot enough, right? Um, I've tried lighters on this shit before. Let's do it. Fuck it. What can I do? Burn metal? I don't fucking know. G10 light on fire? I don't know. Fucking care at all right now. Do I, do I look like I give a shit? I'm holding a lighter up to a fucking knife. Look at this shit. Just turned gray. Probably inhaling the shit out of this right now. Come on, baby. Loosen up. Don't be such a bitch. <laughs> I just need to get it out, so. I probably should be careful not to um, grab it. After. Oh, great. It's smoking, too. Fantastic. Did I get it? I got it! I got it! <laughs> Victory, motherfuckers! Come and get me! Come and get me! You! The champ is here! The champ is here! Muhammad Ali, motherfucker! I'm Muhammad Ali of the knife community! Fuck, the champ is here! Alright. Let's slide this over and not touch it. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. It's magnetized. Oh. I don't know how hot you are. Okay. All right. Focus, Kev. Focus, focus, focus. That was fun. Ooh, look at that spot. That's because I didn't wipe it off. I left the um, EDCI on there for too long, maybe. It's not like it won't come off. You can see it coming off, but just. Uh... Guys, that was fucking brutal, okay? But, now you know a trick. I it, I didn't care because I'm replacing the G10, right? So it doesn't really matter. Um, but, probably shouldn't do that. But I was just at my wit's end. So, there we go. It's not too worse for the wear. You know, you could use it, for sure. Uh, but, fuck this scale. Fuck this scale. Let's go... Let's get this over with. My wife's going to kick my ass. All right. Should be fairly simple now, he says, after he just, like, donkey kicked a knife in the ball sack. Oh, this is going to be a legendary video. Everybody and their mom's going to watch this one. This fucking idiot going around. Using lighters on fucking knives. Okay. So this is for the stop pin, I believe. This is one of the... Oh, fuck! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Got you, didn't I? Gotcha! You're an asshole, Kev. Yeah, we know. We know. We all knew that already. No news alerts. Alright, if I put this in wrong, and it fucking gets stuck. Like, that is why you don't need Loctite. Like, why do you need that much Loctite? Ow! Holy shit, that scale is still warm. I totally deserve that, didn't I? Damn. That fucker is still hot. <laughs> That's too funny. Okay. Anyway, and then this fucker goes in here. Sorry if you have missed anything while I was flipping the fuck out. Uh, you can see all the Loctite in there, too. It's crazy. These all seem to be the same length. Hopefully, I didn't strip anything too bad. I mean, I definitely was on the verge of stripping some shit, but there's nothing I can do. Like, where's that little pin here? Thank God for this mat, guys. If I didn't have this mat for this one, whew, it would be rough. All right. Okay, focus. What's next? KPL, I think. Okay. 
Thank you to the great people over at Knife Pivot Lube for supplying these two bottles to show off because mine were all rubbed off. <laughs> um, yeah, they're cool over there. I have a code, Lefty10, if you're interested. I know, I know. Um, all right, which side should I go in from? Because I'm thinking I should do it on this side because the pivot is on this side, right? Um, so let's do that. D shape is at the bottom, so that's where we want to put that. Um, we're going to figure out how this blade goes on. First, I'm going to drop this and that right there. Put that on there, right? There's no, uh, there are pockets on the blade, obviously. Um, and I'll put a dink there. That's enough. Uh, and maybe I'll put a drop of heavy, just a tiny little nick right there. Okay. No, oh, that was way too much. Sorry, I don't want too much on it. Blade. Stop pin. Now, the question is, how does the son bitch go in, right? It has to go in with the blade, probably. Yeah, at the same time. Oh, wait, no, there's a notch. Could this be an ingenious design? It could be. It could be, people. Maybe you put the stop pin in afterwards, and then it can't go past that point. Or something, he says. Now it can't pop off, see that? <laughs> David, now that is good engineering, my brother. I mean, that's better than how uh, Protect does it. All right, uh, let's put this in here. Sorry if I got a little frustrated there. I just, that just, I mean... That sucked, basically, is what happened. <laughs> I don't want to take it out on the knife too bad. Um, I just, it, it, you're going to swap scales. Like, you want to be able to swap scales relatively easily and not need a blowtorch. Um, all right, what am I missing? Nothing. Wow. If I pull this off after all that, I am going to be impressed with myself, guys. I don't need anybody else to be impressed with me. I just need to be impressed with myself. D-shaped pivot. In the D-shaped hole. Holy shit, I think I pulled this off. Okay. Real quick. I'm going to take this. No, I'm not. Okay. Drop that. That's completely wrong. Drop it this way. <laughs> I might Loctite it. It's funny how the pivot wasn't Loctited. You know? I probably should replace the, um, Probably should replace the T8 on this. Because I, yeah, I torqued the absolute balls out of that. So, into the trash you go, my friend. Do I have an extra T8? I try to order plenty of shit. Yep, there's a T8. I just got a bunch of T6s. I know that, because I ordered them from the site Techni Techni Tool, I think it's called. And it was like... I don't know, 30 bucks for 8 T6? I don't know, it was less than that. I forget, whatever. I also ordered some for Alex814 EDC. Good dude, guys. Check him out. Uh, all right, so let's not mess with that yet. Let's tighten other shit down first. can't believe I actually maybe pulled this off. Uh, did I quote Muhammad Ali while doing a knife video? Did that, did that happen? Okay, that's a decent sign right there. Um, I need to do this because the fucker is spinning. If you guys haven't noticed, it's a spinning fucking pivot. Not pivot, spinning. That's the weird part. It's not even a spinning pivot. It's a spinning um, spacer. Like, why? In God's name. It's just so hard to hold a knife like this and tighten things. Like, I, I don't know. I just hate it. So, clearly, you guys haven't noticed. I fucking hate it. I'm not locked tightening anything, by the way. All right, this is here. Now, question is, where's the clip going to go? Not there. 
So I need to reverse. Oh my god, if this fucking happens, I will flip nuts. Okay. What was that? I didn't say anything. I didn't say anything. Swear to God, I didn't say anything. Okay. Right? Clip goes here because I'm lefty, guys. If anybody is curious, I'm left handed. It goes to a certain point and then it wants to have me do this and get angry. It wants me angry. That's why I hate it. And you tend to scratch the shit out of things. What is going on? This is moving. I don't like that. I have to do them at the same time and that's annoying. The clip is moving back and forth, and I don't want that. So all I'm trying to do is tighten that down, and it's not letting me. So it's really annoying right now. I don't want to over tighten it, but I don't want the clip to wiggle. Still wiggling. See that? Like, what am I supposed to do? It's in the slot. Fuck. I have a wiggling clip. I don't want wiggling clips. And it comes loose without... So... That one's long, right? What does this one look like? Okay, let's try this. Let's try swapping these bad boys. Not really tightening, I don't think. I don't know what's going on, guys. This one won't tighten at all. I'm guessing that's because that screw doesn't go there, but I'm trying to fix a wiggling clip. Oh my God. Fucking shoot me, guys. Shoot me. Don't. Don't shoot me. Okay, let's try this one more time. Pretty sure this is not going to work, but I'm trying it. Yeah, okay. Not working. Now what? Oh my god. Can't get that one out now. Great. If you notice, they stopped talking because. Don't know what to do. Okay, clip. We need on this side. Jesus Christ. Maybe, oh, let me try it one more time. Maybe I didn't have it in the pocket. Maybe it wasn't in the pocket properly. Still got a wiggle.
It's almost like they work independent. Like this one is really tight now. And this one spins. Oh wait, it's tightening. Come on, baby. Oh, it kind of stopped. Oh yeah. All right, cool. A little tightening. All right, there's the tiniest bit. No, okay, cool. Got it. Thank God. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay. What am I missing? Any screws? <laughs> I have all the parts in, guys. All right. Flips out. Uh, blade play? No blade play, so it might be a little tight, maybe. Still no play. Oh, boy. Blade centering. Guys. 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 Dead nuts. Flicks out. Drop shut. Flicks out. Drop shut. Let me zoom out. Yeah, still a little. No play at all. Okay, there we go. Yeah. All right, is anything loose? Something feels off. No, nothing is loose. Everything's tight. Clip isn't moving. Why do I feel like something's moving? No, it's fine. Might just be that detent. Yeah, that's what it is. You can feel it down here somehow. I don't know, it's really weird. Um, anyway. Check out the NAF. Hard work and dedication, people. It will go a long way if you let it. <laughs> this, guys, is the Orion Solaris. <laughs> and I got it back together. That is all I can say. Uh, yeah, I, I will say that um, not having it be easier to take apart and put together is a miss for me. Um, I really, 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 really wish that that was a lot easier than it was. Um, but now that it's done, this looks sexy. It really does. This changed the knife a lot for me, guys. I hate G10. Um, absolutely hate G10. And this is okay. But this actually looks good. Like, I don't think I'm as like, I don't know. Cause like I've said before, this isn't my style of knife, right? It's just, it's a little wide. It's a little, um, uh, whale like, lo it looks like a whale sort of to me. I don't know if that's stupid. Um, and I will say I do have to do first impressions. Holding it back here is not that comfortable. Um, you kind of are stuck. My finger's getting jabbed into the, the flipper tray. Maybe if you had a smaller hand, it would be better. Um, the clip is not a hot spot. I actually really like this milled clip. Glad I got it tight, too, so that's not an issue. Um, but this is not the most comfortable. It's fine, um, but it's a little weird. It just has that bend. Um, yeah, it's not the best, but you can put your thumb up here as like a ramp, and then you have a little reach, right? Um, but once I put my finger up here, it becomes very comfortable. Um, it's not the best, um, but it is comfortable up here. My thumb rides up. I have tons of control of this 14C28N, which, by the way, I think this is the stone wash, and it's still, like, freaking mirror. It's crazy. It's not because you can't see myself, but it's shiny as balls. Um, but, yeah, so the ergos up here are really good, okay? Um, and then if we think about the action... This is a button lock, and it does what you want it to do. I mean, it drops shut. It has absolutely no hint of play on that. Um, and I could tighten it even more. You saw. So you could make adjust it to, if you like to not have something drop shut, you can do that on this and still have a centered blade. I really appreciate that. 
Um, the thumb studs work fantastic. I mean, the action on this thing is really good. I had that little bit of detent lash on the one that must have been a fluke, and he told me he figured out what the issue was on that specific one. On a button lock, you're always going to get a little bit of that uh, detent lash. It's just the nature of the beast. Like, here is a, a Malibu. You can see it has a little bit of it, and you can feel it, like, take up before it flicks out. Um, and that's not just this one. I also have this Malibu. And, well, this one's actually really good. That one doesn't really have any. Yeah, this one, it's a very slight amount. It's there, but very slight. Um, and while I have this out, we can take a look and compare these two. Sorry, it's going to be a long one, guys, but, you know, whatever. I like the color contrast there. It's actually pretty nice if you do this. Really cool color contrast there. Um, digging that a lot, I should say. Or I will say. Because um, you got the black and the blue. And then, yeah, that looks sexy right there. I got to get a picture of that. But um, actually, I'm going to do that right now. <laughs> um, yeah, so just really cool the size if you look at it. I mean, it is roughly just a tad bit bigger than a Malibu. A um, little more in the handle, a little more in the blade, but you get that choil, and, th and that's very helpful. I will say that the uh, handle to blade ratio on this guy is not the best. Um, you have a, a pretty much a shorter blade than handle, obviously, you can see here. Um, but I don't know. It's interesting. I like it a lot more now. Um, I really was thinking I would just review it and probably be like, eh. Um, by the end and, and, you know, not, not that it's not a good knife, just that it's not for me. Right. But now that I am holding this with the carbon fiber on there, it feels so good. Um, and it was only 35 bucks extra for the carbon fiber scales. I really appreciate that. I just wish it was a little easier to get on. Um, but yeah, I haven't, uh, put this in pocket yet cause I was waiting to, um, get the scales off. Um, if anybody is in need of some G10 scales for this knife and, um, you know, they don't mind having a little burn mark on there, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a little bit jacked up right there. Um, feel free to let me know, but I'll probably just hang on to those. Um, really cool. Really, really cool. So, um, yeah, I'm glad David sent this to me and I'm glad I was able to complete the disassembly and reassembly, if I can do it, anyone can do it. Um, just apply a little heat back there. That was not that hard. If I had some better equipment, I probably could have done it without fucking that scale up, but I didn't care about that scale. Although I do apologize, David. I hope you didn't want this back. I don't know. I should find out about that. Um, but if he does, I'll, I'll just buy it. Um, so yeah. Um, yeah. That's it, guys. That's the Orion Knives Solaris uh, Disassembly. Uh, complete shit show and absolute triumph by me. Um, and yeah, I love you guys so much. I appreciate you guys watching this nonsense. And I will catch you later.